The unique command is the fastest way to find the set of unique lines that appear in a file. It can also answer other uniqueness-related questions, like finding duplicates and counting occurrences. There's also a couple ways that you can easily misuse this command, one of which can cause data loss. Let's do a simple example on a short text file. Here is a text file containing a list of names. As you can see, some of the names are duplicated multiple times. In our case, we want to find the unique set of names that are listed here. To do this, you can use the unique command like this. And now, the unique set of names is listed here. Take note of the odd spelling of unique, since it isn't spelled the way it sounds. You should take note of the fact that the unique command does not detect repeated lines unless they're adjacent. For example, here is a file where duplicate names are not always adjacent. If we run the unique command on this file, you can see that some duplicates were removed, but not all of them were. For this reason, it's extremely common to use the sort command in combination with the unique command. Now we can find the unique set of names, even though duplicates were not adjacent in the original file. A common use case for the unique command is to use the dash C flag to count occurrences. Another useful flag is the dash U flag that only lists items that occur one time in the file. The dash D flag can be used to list the opposite set of lines, showing only the duplicate lines that occur more than one time in the file. The unique command isn't just for solving technical problems, it can also help you with your social life. For example, I'm having a Christmas party and I need to invite people to the party. I have three files here containing the lists of names of people that I like to invite to the party. Each file contains a list of names, but the names don't have a standard casing. To make things more complicated, some names are included in more than one list. If I want to create a list of everyone who will be invited to the party, I can't simply concatenate all three of these files together. If we did this, the list could contain the same name more than one time. What we really need is a way of finding the unique set of names across all files that's case insensitive. We can use the unique command to help solve this problem. Here is our aggregate list of all names in all files. We can pipe this into sort so that all identical lines are adjacent, and then pipe this into unique to remove duplicate lines. This gets us a little bit closer, but it still doesn't fix the issue with case sensitivity. We can fix this by adding the dash I flag for case insensitivity. To be extra careful, we should add the case insensitivity to the sorting as well. This could be important depending on the correlation algorithm used. And here is our unique list of guests to invite to the party. The GNU implementation of the unique command also includes a flag that shows all duplicates and groups them together. Now you can see a listing of all of the names, with all names that are considered to be duplicates of each other grouped together. You should also be considerate of the fact that the results from unique can depend on your current language settings. For example, here is a text file containing two lines with Unicode characters. On my computer, if I run the unique command on the contents of this file, I get the following result. Even though these two characters look different, the Unicode correlation algorithm considers them to be the same. However, if we run this command again but change the language settings, we'll get a different result. And if we count the number of lines in the output, clearly the results are different. This situation is especially important to consider whenever your text contains diacritic characters. Now, let's review an important inconsistency with the unique command that could cause you to accidentally overwrite important data. Here we have two files containing some text. Let's run a grep command on these two files. The star.txt expands to match these two files. Let's run a sed command on these two files. Just like with grep, the star.txt expands to match these two files. Let's run the sort command on these two files to sort all of their lines together. Once again, both text files are used as input. Now let's try the same thing with the unique command. There's no output. Let's check the contents of the two files. Wait a minute, the important data file has been overwritten and all the data has been lost. What just happened here? When we used this unique command, it expanded to this. If you check the man page for the unique command, 
you can see that if you specify a second file, it will use that as the output file. This is somewhat inconsistent from other Unix command line tools, and it can easily catch you off guard. The unique command also supports a couple other options for controlling which part of the line is used to determine uniqueness. The dash F flag can be used to ignore the first few fields, where the field separator is this hard-coded regular expression. For example, with this file, if we first sort the data according to the second column, and then use the dash F flag with field 1, we can see two groups of duplicates, where the uniqueness is determined by the second column. In practice, the dash F flag has limited usefulness, since it requires that the lines already be sorted according to the fields you specify. The same can be said about the dash S flag, which causes unique to ignore the first few characters when doing comparisons. Here is a file where every line has a fixed length prefix. We can use this sort command to sort all of the lines according to the data that appears after the dash, and we can use the dash S flag with unique to ignore the first few characters. And now you can see that the data is grouped in the way that ignores the first four characters. Thanks to the unique command, I can be sure that each of my guests will only receive one invitation to the party. As a result, people will finally recognize my clearly advanced skills in planning social events, leading to an increase in my popularity and the fulfilling social life that I've always wanted.